Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. So today I want to talk to you um, about some recent cast photos that were released um, for Real Housewives of Orange County, one of my favorite Bravo franchises. And, and I'm sorry if there's any black background noise. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> black round noise. Some black round noise. Anyway, um, so... <laughs> Of course, always leave it to Reddit for people to be totally savage, okay? Like, let me just go ahead and say this. I understand, and this is someone speaking as, like, Orange County, Atlanta, and Beverly Hills being the top of my favorite franchises, okay? My husband has had to sit and suffer through many, a many, a many of Real Housewives episodes. These women look good, they look good. I mean, they, I know that there is a lot of plastic surgery and Botox and stuff, but these are older women. They're moms. They're middle-aged women. You know, like, the way that people go in on people online these days, I mean, I, I'm totally convinced that it just, it comes from this little adrenaline boost that people get, this dopamine boost from being to be able to be behind a keyboard or a phone screen and say something that's really kind of mean and not really take any accountability for. But I thought that these photos were not terrible. And I think that the internet has somehow... <laughs> okay, let me just say it like this. I work in marketing, advertising, and design, okay? So editing photos is part of what I do for a living. And if the editing on these photos really don't bother me that much as an art director, like literally as an art director, then it really should not be bothering social media up to this point. It really, really should not. I really think this is just an offshoot of people just tearing people down to tear them down. But anyway, let's look at this together. You can see here on this first photo, it's Heather Dubrow. Um... Okay, so should I should I tell what I think about each of yeah why not I'll tell what I think about each of the housewives. Um, we'll look at the photos. We'll talk about these, and then we'll go down and look at the comments. Now, Heather Dubrow, I'm glad that she's coming back. You know, I think that she is. She can be a little bit rigid. She is very very. I don't know. She's a little bit of a snob. She's a little bit of a snob, and I think she's aware of that. But I will say she brings a level of focus, almost like the women in Beverly Hills do. Just a little bit of focus um, to the show. A little bit of um, sort of, I don't know, that dignified rich bitch sort of like, I don't know. I mean, she really actually does make the show like lifestyle porn. So she adds that and she's really rich. I mean, some of these women are rich, but she's really rich. And, I mean, but other than that, she's irked me. She's really irked me at certain times. Um, but she brings the drama. Looking at her photo, I can tell she's had a bit of work done on her face, okay? But, again, she looks good. Like, oh, my God, she looks good. She's, what, 50 at this point? She looks good. I, I think that people are just way, way, way too picky and critical. Okay. Next one. Tamara, I don't, I don't know what happened here, Tammy. I don't know. I mean, she looks, she looks great. She looks great. But the expression around her lip area, um, it reads as tense. It reads as um, discomfort is there. So I, I don't know. I like somebody in the comments was like, she was probably like, this is the photo that you picked. And I would agree with them. I also really like the background with the sun and the, the sunset, the orange. And I mean, it really is giving me throwback vibes. It's giving me like, you know, 2014 OC vibes. I, I actually, for one, really like that. But of course, people on the internet are critical. They may, maybe they say that sucks, but who knows? So this is by far the photo that got the most flack. Shannon Dubrow's photo. Okay, I, I don't know why people are so mean. I don't know. And and, and to and 
to take into account people's different personalities, okay? So Tamara Judge does not give two craps what you could think. And, and we see that from her, you know? Like, she's just going about her own business, doing her own thing. And so if you're going to disparage her looks or anything, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to affect her in the immediate. Maybe it'll all build up and maybe she'll freak out on someone, whatever. But I think she has a strong enough sense of confidence and self that, maybe not self, but maybe just self-confidence, you know, that she can sort of navigate through that. People tore Shannon apart over her blazer, over what they claim was weird photoshopping of her hand, over her hairline. And it just, I'm like, guys, is this really what we're doing at this point? Is this really what we're doing? I just don't understand why people think it's even an attractive quality quality to be so hypercritical. You know, like I, I don't know if these are women who are housewives themselves and maybe they're just like really, really, really suffering the throes of a dysfunctional marriage. I don't know if they're jaded because I, 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 I have no idea, but people are mean. And Shannon is the type of person who, I, I don't think she's gonna be scouring Reddit to see what people are saying and stuff, but this stuff gets back to these people just because they're celebrities or reality TV stars doesn't mean that they don't have feelings. I think she looks great here. I really, really do. Like, I, I don't think it's my place to judge anyone and be so friggin' hypocritical. So let's get through it because then we can scroll down and we can actually look at what everybody said. But ba basically, people tore her up for, especially this blazer. And people said that her hand looked like a weird chicken foot or something like that. <sighs> whatever. Okay, whatever. So um, this is Emily. Yes. And Emily... I love her. One of the reasons I love Emily is because I feel like she's really one of the first representations, at least from a white woman on the franchises, that's curvy. Like, is it me or is it me? Like, I don't. I really don't know why it took so long for the franchises to really be like, oh, except for Gina, maybe. Okay, yeah, except for Gina. But still, like, that's two people. That's two people. Like, it took them so long to just show, like, dude, women can be boss careers, uh, career women, mothers, wives, and still have a little bit more pushing for the cushion. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that. That's a little bit vulgar. But, okay, that was, that was, that's not, that's, that's not. But she's nice, and she has a nice figure. She's got a very pretty face. She's curvy. I love, and she's smart. She's an attorney. I love the orange on her, and uh, even though she is curvy, she's got a very, very solid figure. So this dress, I feel like, really complements her really, really well. I like the gold jewelry. I love everything, and I like I said, I love that sunset backdrop. I'm really, really excited to see Emily back on the show because I also feel like she is a very straight shooter. She's a real person but at the same time. She's compassionate. She's warm. I have nothing but great things to say about Emily. Um, Gina looks great as well. I really like Gina and I may, I think I may be, I might be, um, sort of biased to Emily and Gina since they are sort of like the first housewives on the OC franchise that are probably a little bit closer to my age. I don't know. I don't know. But I also, I saw that crap Gina went through with her husband. I mean, I, I just got, I got to feel sorry for the chick and she, she came in with that. Jersey energy, you know, that totally like three was it Jersey or was it New York? I think it's Jersey. I might be wrong, but she just came in with that northern energy, you know, that just sort of mixed everything up. Like Emily, I also think she's very, very um down to earth. I think sometimes the other women can be a little bit intimidated by that, but I also think there's this strange sort of beautiful amalgamation that happens between the new peeps and the older ones, the ones that are OG, that have been there since the beginning of the OC, there's this kind of cool dynamic that's starting to happen where it seems like the OG women are really starting to kind of take Emily and uh, Gina under their wings. So I like that. I think that Gina had um, one problematic moment, and I, I haven't watched season 16 in a while uh, since basically it came out. So I can't remember exactly what it was, but I do know towards the end there, she, she was having some diva moments. But like I said, I understood with everything she was going through with her husband and the abuse and all that. Like, I got it. I got it. 
So, um, and she looks great, by the way. Like her hair, the shortcut, she looks great. And she also has a great little figure. I think that she's short. Like, as a short person myself, I think she seems short. And I also think that a lot of the women on the Housewives, they, t they tend to go after the model types. So I like that she just is, like, kind of an every woman representation. I don't know. So this is a new person, Jennifer Pedronti. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, and she looks great. I don't, I don't know anything about her. So I guess we'll just see. So I'm just going to kind of skip on over because that's a wash. And boom, 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 Taylor Armstrong. I'm so, 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 so excited that Taylor is coming back, even if just as a friend role. And I'm kind of, I kind of think they're bringing her back just as like a friend role because it's almost like to test out the waters. I think they're going to kind of test out the role. They're like, you've been through a whole lot, girl. We love you, but you've been through a whole lot. And we need to see if like everything is cool. So let's test out the waters. Okay. See how you integrate back into this hot tea, this hot, <laughs> this hot tea room. And then we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. I, I don't know. That's the sense that I'm getting. I love her outfit. I think she looks beautiful. She's got this total power stance here. It's, it looks great. And like I said, I, as someone who edits photos, I mean, literally, I've had work days where all I was doing for weeks on end was sitting down editing photos. These photos were really not edited that bad. Like, I don't know why Reddit is so mean. But basically, they talked about Taylor's clip. They said the clip looked photoshopped on, which I don't think that it does. They said that her arms were disproportionate or weird. I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay, so let's take a look at what everybody had to say. So let's take a look at what everybody had to say. So, um, and I am not logged into my Reddit account. So hopefully it won't crack out. So somebody says, Taylor looks more full time than half the housewives. Somebody else says, okay, Taylor, with that updo, they did my girl Shannon dirty with that jacket. You see, it starts from the beginning. They did my girl dirty with that jacket. I mean, it's not that terrible. People think just because it's not your taste that it's bad taste. Why are people so judgmental and mean? Anyway, so somebody else said, whoever keeps putting her in blazers needs to be stopped. Um, you know what? I think it was here where uh somebody was basically saying, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, it's not here. There's someone who was like, it's Shannon who's dressing herself in those blazers because she's, you know, sometimes insecure about her figure or whatever. But I, I think that she looks great. So I think people need to stop being haters. Somebody else said, Everyone except Heather looks AI generated. Cute fashions except for whatever the F Shannon has on. LOL. I see, she's such an easy target. And people just cannot think for their own these days. Like one person says something, everybody comes in just to say the same old thing. Why can't instead of and I'm 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 almost certain most of these are women here. Why can't we support one another as women? Why do we have to constantly be pitting ourselves up against each other? Anyway, the AI thing, dude, I mean, you know what? That's just what it is today. It's what it is today. I mean, people get plastic surgery. People edit their photos. They do their face tune and everything. There's filters on Snapchat, on Instagram, on any place that you look. I mean, that's 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 what's happening these days. I do feel that on a, on a level. I feel that. I feel that. Like, you want to have a sense of authentic and natural beauty. But at the same time, that might just be one person's belief or desire, you know? Whereas for these women, the way that they look, they're pleased with it. And that's really all that matters. People need to stop being so critical. Somebody else said, it seems like they asked Tamara to show her angry face or maybe she smized too hard. Someone says, Shannon looks awkward. I'm dead. Ugh. Okay, you know, I'm just going to skip past the Shannon ones. It's so mean. Um, it says their faces look like they're so tight and honestly scary, edited to oblivion, or is it just me? Sounds like somebody's mad that they can't afford to get a little mm -mm done. But you know what? I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm not judging anybody. 
You want to get a little plastic surgery done? That's okay. You want to criticize people who get plastic surgery done? Uh, I'm not going to say that's okay, but you have the prerogative to not go and get plastic surgery done to your face. I mean, at the end of the day, they want to do that to their face. They can do that. If you hate it so much, why are you still looking at Real Housewives? So somebody says Gina giving shopping center chore store manager. They are so sad. Like, it's good for a nice laugh, but when you really sit down and think about how mean people are today, especially on the internet, it, it, it will literally, like, maybe give you a little mini existential crisis. At least if you're like me. Oh, this was nice. These people said that they met Gina uh, at BravoCon, and she was really sweet. So I thought that was really nice. And somebody said the same thing about Emily. They said she was really nice at BravoCon. Oh... Is this really Andy Cohen? I don't know. This, this, you know how people will just like use a picture of a celebrity on Reddit. I don't know, but this, there's an account here that says Andy Cohen, and he says Taylor and uh, Taylor and Heather are killing it. Um, Taylor is definitely killing it. Heather is killing it too, even if she's a snob. It's okay. Um, somebody said, please don't hate me, but I kind of love Gina's outfit, and I also don't hate her as a housewife. What did everybody else say? Because um, if you don't know the self-control it took to not DVU, I appreciate your self-restraint. I know it's super unpopular, but I recently binged all of OC and I actually like her. I felt the same. I felt the same. I felt like she was a genuine person who was caught up in a bad kind of marriage and, um, she brought a, a level of flavor to the, to the franchise. Okay, so somebody said, I'm upset that Dr. Jen is gone and Gina is still here. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Jen has so much drama about to go down in her life. What is Bravo thinking? Somebody said, Taylor is a serve. The rest are flaunting their heels from Cabazoon. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Ah, somebody said, I wish they kept Noella. I heard a rumor that Heather is the reason she was fired. Hopefully, Tamara will come for Heather. I'm glad Taylor is on the show, but I wish she were main instead of friend. It looks like she'll be coming for Heather, though, so that's good. I agree. I agree. I agree. I don't know about the coming for part. That sounds really, really violent and problematic. But on the Noella part, I absolutely agree. How are you going to just bring in, finally, finally, after like a decade or 50, I think, 15 years? It's been a long time that OC has been around. After a long time, never having any person of color, other than Gina, who's Italian, I guess, if you're going to count that, never having a person of color. Is she Italian or is she Jewish? Sorry. Sorry. Okay. But you get my point. <laughs> like, we, we really haven't seen too much mixing up in the OC. Noella is the first, at least kind of, you know, we can clearly identify as like a, a person of color. And she's gone after one season. And the women treat her like utter crap. So of course, they treat pretty much every new girl like utter crap. But anyway, so somebody else says the people editing these pics are drunk. Somebody says, so happy my show is back. I totally agree. You see, you see there? It's not that hard, right? Just to say something positive and not totally mean and disparaging. So happy my show is back. No, that wasn't that hard, was it, people? Anyway, so somebody said Heather and Shannon's noses look like penises. This is what I'm talking about, you know? And the thing is, is I, I feel really bad because they could come on here and look at something like that. And I mean, people think just because you have money just because you have chosen to be in the public limelight that you're inviting a bunch of bullying and judgment and criticism. It's just like, it's really, really not fair to me. Um, these are not flattering. They did them dirty. Okay, it says, how, and I mean, how do professional stylists get it so wrong on a consistent basis? I could list 50 things to do differently with each of these looks to make them work and I'm just no and I'm, I'm just a nobody with eyeballs. You know what? I think that this is basically jealousy. I think this is basically jealousy. That, that somebody said that clip on Taylor's dress looks oddly photoshopped in. So that was one of those things where I was saying somebody's even criticizing their hair lengths. 
Somebody says Heather's hair is too long, but I think those are extensions anyway. It's not like that in real life. I wish Tamara would keep her hair shorter. She had it cut again months ago, but then she just puts those damn extensions back in. So many women on these shows need to stop with the long hair. Look how much better Gina looks when she cut hers, and I don't think she's even 40 yet. It's like, dude, can you please get off of these women's jocks? Like, please. Gosh. I don't know why people are. Okay. So, I mean, I'm going to... I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to end it there. I'm going to end it there. But I would really really love to know what it is that you guys think um these photos are are nice. I like these photos. I think they're really really nice and I think people are being super critical. I can't wait till this show drops. I think it's not coming until like friggin fall of this year or something like that something crazy it's like dude why you guys are even teasing us like this but i really really would love to know what you guys think please let me know in the comments and again if you're new to this channel please go ahead and click the like and subscribe button hit the bell so you know whenever i post a video and i'll see you next time okay bye guys bye bye